Greetings and welcome back to another chapter of the Vodcast Plays Scum. Let's check out Herbie's adventures today and see what he's up to. Last time we left him, he just made it across the bridge and he was on his way somewhere. I can't remember where. South. We were heading south. We we're heading north. Why were we heading north? I can't remember. He is still drunk. Good Lord, will this ever end? This poor man. I like candles, but that one's a disaster. Herbie, what do you want to do today? I wish I could make him face the camera, but unfortunately, there's one button, but he just refuses to face the camera. Come on, Herbie. Herbie. Hey. 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 Oh, wait a minute. Why don't you just have a little seat, Herbie? I'm just, I'm just, I just want to check something out real quick. You just relax for a minute, okay? All right. Hey, hey, oh, hey, hey, yeah, for some reason he just refuses to face the camera. I know it's designed that way, but it's just kind of weird to me. Seems like a weird choice to make. Uh, okay, I am heading south. I was very confused. I've been turned around so many times in this game um, that I don't know where poor old Herbie's going to go. I've got a bad feeling. I'm hoping Herbie survives this. I've been reading a lot about the effects of drinking alcohol in this game, and drinking a whole bottle of whiskey is not a good idea. Not in real life. I'm going to take that. I don't know why, but I'm going to take it. They're rare. I rarely see them. Um, and sometimes they will pass out and just go to sleep, but it's usually like you got a two-hour window. If he wakes up, he wakes up. If he doesn't, he's dead. Now, here's the thing, though. We could start another Herbie if he died, but we don't have to. It's not like permadeath in this game. You can actually just restart your character. Like, it, you lose, um... Uh, where's my mouse? My god, where's my mouse? Jesus Christ. You lose fame points. <laughs> I forgot what I was talking about for a second. Sorry. All right, well, we're not going to go too crazy with these unless we can find some kind of a repair kit for a car. There's really nothing we need out of these cars right now. And it never hurts to check for food in the garbage. That's what I always say. See, this is 23%. I'd rather just not take it. I don't want to fill up my inventory if I don't have to. We have a very limited space. Actually, we are very fortunate to have found this hiking backpack. Um... There's quite a few backpacks in the game, starting from a children's, like, school backpack that has, like, maybe, I don't know, four or six slots or something, maybe four, I think. And then there's combat ones and hiking ones, um, and this hiking version is the, the biggest of them. But, with the ability to carry more, doesn't necessarily... <laughs> doesn't necessarily mean that it makes it easier. Because weight does play a factor here. And the more weight you have, that's a hundred pound test. I don't, I mean, a hundred pounds, I probably can't even pull that back. Let's try. Go ahead. Pull it back. Oh, we can. Sometimes if you don't have enough strength, you aren't able to use those bows. I guess I can carry it for now. I don't have any arrows. Maybe we'll find some arrows. Harvey, let's find some arrows. Herbie, let's find some arrows. Together we'll make a brand new world for each other. Herbie, yeah. Herbie, you want to take a jump? Do you want to go on a jump? Do you want to go for a jump? Look at that water, man. They just changed that too. The, the water was all pretty much dark. Um, you could, you could see in it if you're swimming in it, but it was much darker. They added this coastal kind of, you know, um, elevation underneath. I believe right now we are 500 feet above sea level. What are the chances that we are going to make it off of this bridge without having to fight something? Because if that is the case, I kind of want this metal pipe. Because the sledgehammer is always a bad idea. I don't know why I took the sledgehammer. The reason why I took the sledgehammer, if you really need to know, <laughs> yeah, you don't got to know why you got it. Um, I don't know. 
Well, because a stone axe, if I need a stone axe, I can make one at any time. But a sledgehammer, a sledgehammer, I cannot make. Especially when I am resting in the hot tub. Hot tub? Hot tub. Oh, yeah. Hey, he's not drunk anymore. He survived. That's awesome. I was going to say, if you, if you ever need to and you're stuck in a situation, you can always commit suicide. Not in real life. You should always seek help and talk to your friends and, and never consider that the last, last means of salvation or... What is that? That's a nasty gunpowder. I'm going to take it, though, because I didn't take the last gunpowder, and when we went to go make a fire, we had a problem. I don't mean to... I don't mean for these games to be all bridge. I'll just keep going. If, if something happens, I'll let you know. Okay, electrician's true... <laughs> All right, electrician's tools. Uh, there's nothing I have at, 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 for the time being that I would need those for. Otherwise, I would take them. I'm going to take these bullets. They don't look like they're in best shape, but they don't look like they're in best shape. They don't look like they are in the best shape of their lives, but they will still go into a gun and they will still fire. Now, there is a chance, of course, that it might misfire or you could... Um, you could get a a low uh, uh, a round stuck in the chamber, or there's, there's a bunch of stuff that can happen. There's four or five things that can happen. We'll leave that be. I don't know what it is. When something goes wrong with a gun, and you got to be quick to be able to figure out how to do it. That's why I don't take I, I have the zombie damage off because. Maple timer stopped on Jason's Echo Dot. I don't know if you could hear that or not, but that just said that uh, the meatball timer stopped on Jason's Echo Dot. Um, I have some meatballs in the crock pot. I like to call them my four-day meatball recipe. They're delicious after about four days sitting in the crock pot. You just turn it off at night, let them hang out. You know, you don't want them cooking all night. Then in the morning, you turn them on, keep warm all day. And then whenever you want a meatball or, you know, a sandwich or whatever, they're there for you. And I've discovered that this process is good for about three days. I called them my four-day meatballs because I've made it four days before. It left my tummy feeling yucky. I got a yucky tummy, guys. Guys, I got a yucky tummy. It hurts. All right, I'm going to run for a little bit. Uh-oh. Oh, it's on, you motherfucker. Oh, you wish you could hurt me. You wish you could hurt me, you little bitch. Oh, yeah, you like that? Oh, you like that? Yeah, yeah, I'm not done with you! Oh. oh, now I'm getting tired. I need a rest. Take a little nap, Herbie. Get your energy back, you poor thing. Good. Hey! Hey, hey stop! Hey! What? Really? I thought we could have been friends. We couldn't been friends. Now I have to take all your clothes off of you. I'm gonna take off all the zombies' clothes. And then I'm gonna... Ch oh, I don't have a knife. I was gonna chop him up into little pieces for you guys. <laughs> I was singing a song about it and everything. You would have loved it. I'm gonna run again now. I heard another one. Every time I say something, I have to say it 400 times slower so that you can understand what I'm saying when I speed this up. Oh, he's tired. He's tired. Let's take a little rest and see. I think he needs something to drink, too. Oh, nope. I got beer or soda. Really don't want to drink either of those. Oh, we got a whole bottle of whiskey here. I am not going to risk that, though. Let's just have a quick little drink of soda pop. Where are you from, and how do they call soda from where you're from? I've never lived in a place that called it anything than soda, but everybody claims that up north we call it pop, but I have never in all my days called it pop. It's always been soda to me. Some places call it Coke, which I think is a weird thing because that's so specific. Or maybe cola. I, I, I can't remember. But either way, that's still specific. See, now I am torn. 
when you're stuck on a road like this for a while, let's plays aren't that much fun. And I mean, I can I can speed it up, but I just wonder if there's something I can some better view from over there on one of these hills. We'll just keep going up this hill. The moon is on the rise. There's a bad moon on the rise. All right, run. Oh, God. You hear that? You know what that laughter means? Usually they have a bomb strapped to their chest. This is the most dangerous kind of zombie because it's the only kind of zombie that can kill me right now. Oh. He doesn't look like he's got a bomb. If you start hearing beeping, you're going to see me running really, really quickly. I really need to check that place out, though. Oh, shit. One of them saw me. If there was just one... Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> My pipe is missing. All right. I'm going to have to go with the sledgehammer. The problem with the sledgehammer, too, is it's a two-handed weapon, so... It's a lot slower. I just hope we don't draw any more attention. <laughs> I didn't... I don't know if that's something new they've added or not. I knew early on in the game you could... Oh, God, that laughter gets me every time. Alright. I need to find a safe place to get into that building and hope that there's nothing in the building. And I also have to listen for that laughter, because it gets any closer, I'm going to shit my pants. Oh, god damn it. Oh, shit. Uh, <laughs> and let's go. <laughs> we will not be checking out this building on this episode of the Vodcast Podcast. Play scum. They're getting close. <laughs> this character is a lot slower. All right. No. Let's just put that away. Oh, they're going to get me. <laughs> I don't hear any bomb guys, though. Well, that didn't take much. <laughs> All right, let's go back one more time. I don't know how respawning works in this game exactly. Like, I remember the old EverQuest days and stuff, like... Like, there was a timer on the spawns, but I don't know if this game works. Alright, this is freaking me out. I can hear him somewhere. There's one up on that hill, but I'm not going to worry about him because I don't think he's really worried about me. What I'd like to do is get on top of this building. Maybe open a door and then get on top of the building, see if we can manage to survive an attack. This is interesting. This barbed wire stuff, you don't normally see that around. I mean, I'm playing single player right now, so I know... For a fact that there's no other players. I did read that they are adding NPCs into the game in quests and missions like that, which which I think will be really cool. Alright. Alright, somebody heard me. I'm just grabbing and running at this point, because I don't know if they can get in. Ah, uh, that's not bad. Huh, tomato. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a shotgun, too. That's in rough shape, though. I don't think, unless there's one inside, they can get to me in here. Shut up, you stupid zombies. What would be really nice is if someone in the... Oh, no. That's it. Usually these stores have, like, a, a back room. You know. You know about the back room. All right. I'm going to try to just go. I don't know where that laughter is coming from. I feel like somebody heard me. Yeah, I want pants. Pants is so hard. Look at the pants I'm wearing right now. Uh oh, I cannot get up there. Um, Pants. A good pair of pants in this game are really hard to come by. I think I can make this. Yeah, okay. All right, I already feel a lot safer being up here. This is neat. Actually, I've never seen this place before. I've never been here. This is a new area. <laughs> I don't know if 
my heart can handle that right now. What's down here? Oh, that's so creepy. All right, we've got to figure out where this guy is. I do not want to come face to face with one of these guys that have a bomb strapped on his chest. It's the worst thing in the world. Oh, oh, I heard him. <laughs> I can hear the beeping. That's the beeping I'm talking about. So the one nice thing about this is, is I can activate his beep, which means I can make him blow up. I'm not sure exactly how to do it. I've done it a few times, but I think as soon as the beeping starts, there's a certain amount of time and inevitably it's going off. All right, now I'm hungry. I just don't want to be too close when he does finally blow up because the damage is pretty significant. Oh, Christ. Now I'm going to be surrounded on top of a gas station by zombies. Kirby, what are you doing, man? You really didn't think this one out, did you? Yeah, we got one down there. Okay, good. That should draw some of them away. Maybe. I would think. Oh. No, no, no! Oh, no! No! This is seriously in scaring me. It's seriously intense. When that thing goes, it's gonna do damage like to whatever's above or below it. I'm gonna try to stay right here until that one. Oh no, no, he's definitely getting closer to me. Oh, he's gotta be inside one of these buildings. <laughs> Just blow up, god damn it! Just die! this sudden fear like I'm a... do you see that it would, that had to have been relatively close the thing that sucks is I've alerted quite a few zombies to my presence at this point so let's take a look at this from a real survival situation we know there's some below us uh, yeah shut up <laughs> we... okay I have I don't have any do I I don't think I have anything I know. No, there's nothing in this. Okay. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try to go in the building. I don't think we're gonna face many of them inside. But this would be my choice if I was in this survival situation. I could at least... Oh my god, I couldn't sleep with that. Not knowing which door there could be a zombie behind. Do we find out? Do we go left? Do we go right? This is what we're going to do. We're going to end it here for today. And uh, I'm going to let you guys tell me to take the left door or the right door. And we'll go from there in the next episode. So <laughs> if I can talk over these zombies, um, thank you guys for stopping by and checking this out. If you guys are loving watching these as much as I'm loving playing them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and take care of each other out there. And stay tuned for the next chapter in Herbie's survival adventure. All right, you guys take care. Good night. Ha, ha, ha.